since you're the first person I've encountered in this damn jungle who isn't trying to kill me, let's assume we're going to be friends. The role that my character plays in High Isle is that he's one of three uh, leaders or uh, elders, but I would suggest that he is the dominant partner. And I think he's a, you know, he's a smart man. He's famously charismatic. He is therefore uh, well equipped to fulfill his role. And I think he sees it as someone who can bring unity and peace. When High King Emmerich looks in the mirror, he sees something that makes him feel pretty good. He feels pretty good about himself. I think he has, I think he's probably a stranger to self-doubt, which makes him, you know, kind of handy to have around if, you're, if you want someone to, to lead you. Over my strenuous objections, honestly, I was Earl of Cumberland before King Gardner died. He dropped dead of the Nahartan flu. Suddenly I was crowned King of Wayrest. <sighs> Haven't had a decent night's sleep since. My character's internal motivations are good old-fashioned world domination, but also I think he's a smart and charismatic guy and therefore fully equipped to uh, express his role as someone who is in a position to perhaps achieve peace and harmony. What does a high king do? Everything and nothing, or so it seems some days. I lead the Daggerfall Covenant, I rule over High Rock, and I attend meetings. So many meetings. Uh, I like the line, I've had it with this Ascendant Magus, because it makes me laugh. I've just about had it with this Ascendant Magus. Because in the middle of all the kind of quite heightened language and all the drama, uh, he suddenly says something which is, uh, is quite modern and, quite, and therefore quite dry and quite funny. The Covenant remains strong, or so I tell myself from atop the lumpy pillow of my unbearably uncomfortable throne. Look, we've accomplished quite a bit in these past few years. I mean, you tell me, is it madness to hope for peace in our time?